Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right! Welcome, welcome everyone to an unboxing Saturday. Don't really have a box, but I got a story for you. This is awesome. This is great. Um, this is kind of, like I said, once again, praise God, we've got the computer up and running again. And, um, you know, we, we got one video out on a Wednesday, which was actually a Tuesday because I did it on my phone and they wouldn't let me schedule it. They just uploaded it. And so I'm like, wow. Anyway, so yeah, thank you, Jesus. Seriously, man. Uh, he is the reason we have a Rover Land, uh, channel and a shop and things like that. But anyway, let's get on to it. Give me a big thumbs up down there and uh, comment down below if you want to know anything about Jesus, all right? All right, so here we are. What? We're uh, Saturday, unboxing Saturday, and America's greatest Iola car show. This is the uh, 50th year. This took place in July 7th through the 9th, 2022, in Iola, Wisconsin. And... Uh, I have been here before. I probably have videos uh, of uh, my finds in Iola before, uh, but this was the first time that I took my sweet wife Angie with me, and she had no idea. Let's let me show you this. But bam! Look at this. All these little squares are vendors. Now some of them share a couple of spots. Some of them. Uh, uh, you know, are weren't there. Some of them use them for parking as, you know, they, they, they put this spot, their stuff, and then next two, they, they park there and camp because it's a two day. What did he say? Seventh through the ninth, seven, eight, nine, three day, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, no Sunday sales. All right. So anyway, so here it is. Um, you know, if you want to check it out, Go ahead and snap that if you want. But uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, check them out. They're really cool, been going for a long time. But anyway, um, we we parked over here at gate one. And down here is a big hill. But anyway, we parked over here and uh, we were pretty good. We were diligent. We got there about eight o'clock in the morning. It started at six, but it was a little rainy that Saturday morning. And we were trooping around and we went around all of this. Some places were open, some places had their tarps still closed, but we found some things. We found her a beautiful hat. I should have a picture of it, but I don't. But anyway, we looked at all these things and she's like, you know, well, we can, you know, and I, I kind of like, okay, we found it. We bought a sandwich here for her, breakfast sandwich. Um, so she said, well, we could go back, you know, is that it? We could go back and look at, you know, some of the other ones that were uh, quite open and everything. I was like, uh, no. So when you check in at the gate, you pay, it was like uh, $20 a person to get in uh, for the day, $30 for two days, something like that. I don't know. Well, anyway, um, so at the, when we walked in, they gave me one of these, and I'm like, okay, I got to get a hold of one of these so I can show you guys where I was, and this is the tower that is uh, the, the main tower where they have speakers and stuff, and you can see it, uh, where is it there? Main tower, that's where you go. If you're lost, uh, go to the main tower. If you, if you uh, lost something, go to the main tower. If you uh, need to ask a question, you go to the main tower, but you can see it, and uh, I'm trying to see where actually the main tower is on the map here, but uh, we didn't go here because that was private property. Uh, <laughs> but they have uh, a car car corral, car show, trailer parking, and then there's exhibit buildings and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, just awesome, um, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yeah, so just a, a great, uh, cool place to go. So check that out. Uh, so this is what I found there at the Iola Car Show. Uh, I will say on the onset, uh, it wasn't my best 
year for finding stuff, but I found stuff, as you see here. Uh, I'm not going to be able to tell you every one that uh, individual stories, but this first one here uh, was the first thing that I did buy. I remember it because that's the where we bought um, Sweet Angie's hat. And uh, yeah, here it is. Well, it's not a mint card, but it's mint on the card. This is the uh, Dive Adventure uh, Freelander. Uh, Hitch and Hall. Uh, when is this from? This is from 2007. Uh, I did pay five dollars for it. Yeah, 2007. Uh, one of the interesting things that we might do a one of Wednesday on this is the diver um, is a variation, whether it's flippers or black or white. And then uh, two, this casting has variations on that strip: black, yellow, and orange, or red, whatever you want to call it. Uh, now the rubber band is give loose and the uh, shark is uh, on the loose there, but don't don't worry about the kraken. He's gonna be all right. <laughs> so that was I know that was our first little find. That was awesome and uh, great. And uh, we were off. And like I said, it was kind of raining, so we got her a hat and it was cool. Uh, one of the next place. Oh, so in there in in this place was a toy barn. And I don't think it's on the map, but anyway, it's a, it's a big barn, and it was a toy barn, and you used to go in there, and now, truthfully, I didn't get a lot of stuff out of the toy barn, but um, I would go, and I would, I would find some stuff. I would find some stuff, you know, but um, what I did do, finally, after we were there for a little bit, I'm like, oh, we got to go to the toy barn I can't wait any longer well anyway my buddy my buddy Josh uh, was there he has and we've done a, a video with Josh in the Fox Valley Antique Mall well he set up a big booth and uh, his booth is 31 if you remember and uh, so we we got some things from him and uh, yeah I even asked him if I had uh, I could get the uh, club uh, membership discount and he was cool he gave me 10 percent, and uh, then he gave me a card for 10 percent later on too but anyway josh is a good guy shout out to him uh so booth 31 but anyway so uh while i was talking to josh uh the missus was out looking for land rovers and she did a wonderful job here is the uh 221 the faded uh card of the rover classic with the uh ct wheels uh, that is awesome. Uh, we found just some regular Defender 90s, the original one, and then the green one. That was pretty awesome. And uh, then we found uh, these two here, which is the uh, Collector Series, I guess you'd call it, the Root Beer Brown Series 3 pickup, and then the sand-colored one from uh, the, uh, what is that, the Baja Blazers. So those were pretty good, and then we found these two, and I'm like, yes siree, yes siree. Uh, th this one is kind of the regular go-to, new in 2001, the Range Rover Classic. But this was kind of the gem, uh, we kind of bent the card, but that's all right, the card is pretty pretty nice. Uh, yeah, it, a little bit more, if you've been paying attention to the prices, a little bit more, because this is the Kroger Exclusive. So uh, I had to, quote unquote, had to uh, give some to my buddies and stuff like that in the Diecast Club. So I was, uh, I had to get rid of a couple or trade for a couple or whatnot. And, you know, no, no, no complaining. But uh, I, I had to use some of my reserve. So it was nice to get uh, uh, another one of those. And uh, he treated me right and got me a good deal there. So pretty awesome there so that was kind of a nice haul there um the other thing here uh i deal with this guy quite a bit or every time i've gone over there uh pj's auto literature and i tell you what folks if you don't collect this kind of stuff and pick it up and and buy it on the um lowdown i guess uh, you should, because this stuff is expensive. I, and I'm not just talking about PJ. I think he's, some of his prices are kind of high, but uh, 
uh, this stuff is kind of a collect. Well, it is a collector's item. So anyway, he's got milk crates, the uh, uh, owner's manuals, a ton of stuff, a big, huge tent. And uh, anyway, so here's some stuff. We got to get going here. We're already 10 minutes and I got another box to go through. Uh, Five dollars for this uh, land, uh, the Rover Motor Company of North America Limited. It's got the little guys, uh, the Rovers on the bottom. Couldn't, oh, I would just give a left arm if I could buy a, a Rover for two grand, three grand. Boy, that would be awesome. That's pretty cool. Here's another advertisement. Um, don't really know what I gave for this one because it didn't have a price, but all this stuff cost me 20 bucks. I just said, hey, I got some Rover stuff. Here's 20 bucks, and he wrote it down and uh, got me a good deal. So that one was uh, a non-priced one. Really kind of cool. Um, then here is another advertisement thing. Uh, regular put out by New York. They got, uh, yeah, New York, New York. This is six bucks here. Just uh, got both sides printed. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, this wasn't under the Land Rover. Everything was categorized and everything like this. This is his and this is hers. That's awesome. <laughs> but uh, yeah, really kind of cool to see uh, this kind of stuff. Um, here's one that I, I think I have, but I had to have it again. I want to do a replica of this in die cast. It looks like checker plating on it, but uh, white wall tires is pretty cool. So what did I give for this one? Eight bucks for this. It's just an advertisement out of a magazine. Now he did have some uh, Country Life is the magazine, Country Life. And I took pictures of them because it said Country Life and the issue of uh, the magazine. So I could uh, hopefully maybe buy the whole magazine for what he was asking for. But yeah, some of the brochures he had, and like I said, I'm not, I'm not knocking him for the price really, but some of the brochures he had, 40 70 dollars you know it's just i mean wow that stuff is really collectible um all right let me see if i can do this without so i, I carry this little bugger in a in a messenger bag and uh, as you see i open it up and i put the loose cars in here very very awesome matter of fact this one right here this loose guy here mint condition this came from uh josh uh 30 the booth 31 you know yeah, mid condition. This was in the dollar box. I don't know what he actually charged me for that, but yeah. But we ended up finding loose practically the whole uh, series of the Hot Wheels Range Rovers. Uh, very, very nice shape. You know, I mean, this one's a little beat up. This one's not bad. You know, the Flying Stars. This was like in mint condition. Very, very nice. And I think these were like a dollar, two dollars. Most of these cars were. This is interesting. She pulled this out and she said, hey, is this a Rover? I'm like, uh, yeah, well, where's the rest of it? Here, the, it's riveted, but the back end, because this is plastic, pops off. The rivet must not be very good. So we're missing the glass and the interior, <laughs> but we got the shell, which is all right by me. So that was kind of an interesting find. Once again, just a buck or something like that for that. Um, this was a nice one. Oh, my buddy High Top that I usually uh, deal with in uh, Mississippi Mayhem, uh, Rockabilly Show. Uh, he had that. He gave me that for a buck. Here is uh, some cool ones that I found. Uh, this is a new release at the Matchbox uh, Hot Wheel or Matchbox Land Rover series. That was pretty cool. And uh, this is an awesome. This was early on in the day. The National Parks gave like a dollar for this. That just sold on eBay not too long ago for over ten dollars. Uh, we went to another place, dollar for these. She's like, ah, look what I found. And then I was looking, I'm like, ah, I'll match you that. <laughs> so it was kind of fun. But we got some of the double cabs. Really kind of cool there. And then, uh, oh, this one guy, I don't know. I, I We dicker in this and that and everything. And, oh, they were a comical pair. Uh, but uh, he charged me a little bit more for this. But the rest of the cars that I bought were like a, a buck or whatnot. And he's like, well, that's a, well, that one's a little bit more for that one. I think I've had to pay $3 for it, but really kind of cool. So there you go. That was my Iola finds. 
Uh, just pretty awesome. We're going to end on this one because it's in the card and it'll produce a glare on the way out. <laughs> All right. Thank you for joining me for an unboxing Saturday of the Iowa Car Show 2022. And uh, that's it. Have a great rover day and slow traffic keep right.